Hello, this is GeoTechLand and today I'll be looking at Solus Budgie desktop environment and giving you a, an overview of the theme here. Solus itself has been a uh, newer Linux distribution and it's actually built from the ground up. So to start, um, I won't say too much about its theme here or its window theme because it's really just using the adapter theme which you can find on, on many distros these days. But it is the one that introduced me to it, the adapter theme, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'll actually start with their start menu here, which is very simple and again, very Windows-like here. So again, if you're coming from Windows, this may be a pretty easy transition for you. So you can check out some of their pre-installed apps here like the office suite here LibreOffice. obviously the only app i've installed is obs here it does have an easy search so if i want to search obs i can um, so again not much to see the other part of budgie here is their bottom panel which again is more like windows where you have um, these little icons here and then all the you you know sound bluetooth power buttons are on the bottom right here i'm actually gonna switch a few things up here because you do have the budgie desktop settings menu here and you can actually change a lot of stuff here so let's go to dark theme to darken this bad boy up here and that does only doesn't actually do much what you want to do is actually just set adapter to this one and that way it'll actually darken up so so that's cool this actually introduced me to dark theming in linux as well really when it introduced me to adapter and i found adapter in oak though that's where i did it and also to the paprius icons here which have become my favorite um, icons now so now I, I actually really like and prefer this darker look. It's just a, a nice color to it. And now we can move on to edit the bottom panel here. Um, the one thing I want to do is change the size here because it is a bit too thin for me. So let me set the icon set to... There you go. I think this is doable. Obviously you can put it in the top. On the left hand side if you wanted to go for a more um, windows or more ubuntu unity slash theme there but obviously this doesn't translate well so really it's it really transfers well only if you prefer this at the top or the bottom so that's one thing to keep in mind I obviously set this to the intelligent height all the time so i'd like it to disappear when when I have a, a window over the, the panel here. The one thing is that by default, this does minimize and maximize where on GNOME, even when you have the dock, have it in dock mode, it um, you do have to adjust it so that it can minimize and maximize when you click. I'm actually gonna show you their store because their store is, itself is actually unique. And again, it's the same theme here. It's very simple. Like you can see some of the some of their apps here, and there are going to be improvements to this software center. The founder of Solus uh, left the project, and so the team that works on Solus has been kind of uh, keeping the lights on in a sense. But now they're starting to move towards towards the things they originally set out to do here and again it's uh you can search for an app let's say i want to search for the dolphin emulator i can find it here they do have this little notifications sidebar and i think this is a, a better use of a sidebar than let's say comparing it to deepin this Deepin has a sidebar where it's basically also a settings menu. 
this sidebar is more a lot simpler like you can put whatever you want ideally so there's a calendar applet there's a sound applet it looks like and then you can add more applets there so that's definitely another advantage but other than that there's not much to say about this OS it's just very simple and for a lot of people that may be enough you want something that has a modern look to it but it's not so complicated as well and um, if you're jumping from Windows to Linux this may be a good option for you I think I would recommend a, a GNOME based um, environment first or even Linux Mint Linux Mint actually if you compare it the the newer version of Linux Mint it, it's aiming for this similar look here I think the one thing though is that Solus start menu is not as fancy as Cinnamon but I don't think it's too big of a deal there but other than that if you like this video please like share subscribe and i'll see you guys next time